This is the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Probably the only one that I played. There's like two other later installments that were only in Japan. Um, but they got all ported to the GBA uh, later on. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh... You let goofy, I see. Oh, yep. <laughs> what do you think of that, mother shucker? Uh, why do I have a feeling that's going to be very common with this playthrough? Well, I mean, Mick did kind of, uh, owe me $20. <laughs> Sorry, but he's been on that for two months, for too long, like that there Damien. Where's my money, Damien? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do to you! <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's start the game. There we go. Oh, story time. That's right. Mickey and his friends are playing catch in the park. Hooray. They're just having a lazy Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon. Thank you, Heartless, for the ten uh, cheers. Little did you know I was trying to hurt him with that. I'm now imagining, here comes the pitch, Mickey! Better catch this in your throat, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, Mickey, you were supposed to raise your hand! Fucking dipshit. Watch out, Pluto! Stop! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't worry, huh? Mickey. I'll find Pluto for you. And he moonwalks out of the screen on the opposite direction. Fucking dipshit. Worried? Who's worried? Oh, Pluto! Stop! Pluto! If Goofy said he'll find him... Then Goofy will definitely find... He'll probably... Oh, Pluto! Here! Pluto! Where are you, pal? <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Did the demons well, make you demon do it? demon told me to. <laughs> the demon told me to. <laughs> God damn it, Goofy. <laughs> I love that video. Derek the Brownie, thank you for the 25 bits. <laughs> I can just imagine Steven going all the bits, the bits. Uh, I see. Oh, God damn it. Grab hold. <sighs> Whatever. Grab the other fruit and fly above it. God, it's in this. It's it's proof like the it, games like these are just proof that shows that, despite how like sweet they try to make Mickey, he's still a fucking asshole. Uh huh. I'll eat your organs. Uh huh. <laughs> Hiya! I'm looking for my dog Pluto. Have you seen him? <coughs> yes, your dog was captured. By the devil ruler of this world, Emperor Pete. Dun dun dun! I wish I could do a Pete impression. I love Pete. He's such a he funny never, character. He will never get, uh, give him back to you. Emperor Pete? We're, he will put an evil spell on Pluto <laughs> as he does to all of his prisoners. Ooh, yikes. I warn you, his powerful magic has never been defeated. Do not attempt to rescue your dog. Save yourself. No, Pluto's my pal. I won't give up. Can you oh. tell me where I can find this Emperor Pete? If you insist on going, follow the Emperor's statues. Oh, gosh. One after another, these will lead you to his castle. <clears throat> gosh, thanks. So long. And fuck you, too, for telling me not to go find Pluto. Is I will... <laughs> How much dialogue is in this? Okay, I'm skipping through this part. Yeah, it's just like a whole lot of text. Holy shit. I know. It's like, you know, we're kind of... We're in for the action. Thank you very much. You yeah, fuck oh, off. But, but speaking of Pete, do you know that Pete is actually Disney's oldest kid? So Pete, Pete was out first before Mickey? He was out before Oswald. Oh. Yeah, he's been back when Disney did the Alice comedies. He used Pete as one of the villains in the series. Huh? Oh, well, that's I interesting should... information. Oh God damn it! I plummeted to the fucking pit. Really? This is supposed to be an easy as fuck game. What the dick? Ah, <sighs> whatever. Yeah, let me. I'll send you a PM of the video talk. 
Huh. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I gotta go grab another one of these fruits. The thing that's annoying about this game is that they don't have a dashing button. But he can run fast if you're on a slope. There it is. 94 years old. Holy shit. 94, huh? Yeah. Pete is a really old cat then. Well, I guess so. Well, the thing is about Pete, he hasn't just been a cat over the years, but... <laughs> they kind of changed the species a little. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, like when Goof Troop, he was a dog and stuff. Yeah, that's because almost every character in that one was a, was what? a dog. There was my friend Pete from across the street. The Goof Troop, where we well, always stick Pluto together. Well, Pluto and his daughter Pistol. Or to the goof troop, goof troop, we always stick together, together. Doop mm -hmm. troop, goof troop, best of friends forever. <laughs> God, I still remember that theme song. Holy shit! I still have quite the um, quite the impression from the uh, the Goofy movie. <laughs> oh, Goofy movie is it's still one of my favorite films. Oh yeah, no, honestly. like, I, like okay. Uh, You're it, my son, Max. You'll always be my son. There's a part of me that just, like, okay, I'm probably going to, like, really, like, put some nightmare fuel in this, but it's probably common knowledge. How how much uh, how much uh, fan art of Roxanne has there? Um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Can you show me? <laughs> I could have just imagined so many people who are listening, they're like, oh god, the nightmare fuel starts kicking in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that, you know, that, 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 that first scene, the film, honestly, did. I'm sorry? You're cutting in out. God fucking damn it. What what'd you say? I was asking, what did you say? Uh, you know what scene, what scene uh, scared me as a kid? In the first Goofy film, uh, it was actually the beginning scene where Go where Max starts to turn to Goofy. I was always scared during that scene. Oh, we're talking about his nightmare. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I remember that. He just starts growing these long legs, and his snout gets even more. And he does the Goofy laugh. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that scene. Holy shit. God, these guys take a fucking load. Giggity. <laughs> Giggity. Okay, is it just me or does that, like, every time I stumble upon these boss fights, that little theme just reminds me of, um, Tiny Toons. That little part that goes, dee, 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 It's like, that's something I would hear from Looney Tunes. And it's weird, because this is a uh... Disney game. A fucking competitor to Warner Brothers. You know what's funny too? What's that? Some of the original Warner Brothers animators actually started working with uh, Walt Disney. Well, that doesn't yeah. sound surprising. Yeah, they actually worked on uh, like who is it, Fritz Freeling and stuff. Worked with Walt Disney on the Oswald cartoons for Universal. Huh. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, here's the scene. Jumping over one log, over another log. Got this pissy beaver over there. Oh, I remember when I was first playing this game. Wait, I didn't touch that star. Whatever. Uh, when I saw the stars, I was um, at first I was thought uh, thought it was like, huh? Are those like special like items they collect? Oh god, they come to life. It's a trap. There's we... the scene from the opening. Yeah. Post that in the chat, cause it is creepy as fuck. 
Am I going to play any Kirby game? Um, I don't know. I'll have to look around, you know, whichever ones I have access to. I will say this much. Um, the Kirby Superstar playthrough was surprisingly fun. Like, the game itself was fun, and the commentary was funny as shit. Like, that, deser watch... that deserved its own highlight reel. You should play uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, is that the one for Game Boy Advance? Yeah. Okay, I've heard some things. Like, I don't know too much about it. Fucking hell. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on this fucker who keeps, like, tackling me. Hey. Oh, I had it as a kid. I love that game. <laughs> it's basically a remake of the first game, but it actually has, like, God Kirby's... fucking damn it. Because in, like, the first couple of games, he didn't really have the ability to copy people... Copy's abilities and yet. Mm. He just floated around and sucked things up. Giggity. <laughs> oh, fucking kiss my ass. Here. <clears throat> Finally, I hit him. That's twice. Three times, bitch. You gonna tackle this time? Yep. Boom. Fuck you. <laughs> this this guy I watched, uh, Derek Lee Down Under, he does all these, like, videos about the history of certain, like, characters, like, mostly Disney characters, like, Mickey wait Donald a minute, Disney I think I know who you're movie. talking about, is he the guy who, um, he talks about, like, other Disney movies that are coming out in the, um, later years and such? I think so? Because, if, if my memory serves me correctly, he was legitimately defending the Lion King remake. I don't know. I didn't watch if I didn't really. I don't really watch his his reviews of movies. I just watch his like history of this character stuff. So. Mm -hmm. There. He's a guy from like uh, Australia, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh then. <laughs> We have a cutscene going on. Uh, Mickey has had one of those like Mario World, Mario selection type screens. Well, you have been, um, let's see. You have been doing very well against the Emperor's magic, I see. Oh, hiya, wizard. What are you doing here? I have come to give you this magic turban. Gee, <laughs> thanks. Oh, uh, wait, I kind of skimmed over the last word, so... Base. Okay, yeah, it's a turban. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is where he becomes a magician. Fuck that, I'm out of here. No. <laughs> Been spending most of our lives leaving me in the gangster's paradise. There's no time for sin and vice leaving me in the gangster's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Goofy, you gotta go fast? Gotta go fast there, Sonic. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Goofy's the name. Son, speed is my game. Oh, yuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just you know, like Goofy and Sonic's voice into one and created an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sin. <laughs> That was a sin. <laughs> and I'm sure you have absolutely no regrets doing it. Oh, no, I regret that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... I felt that sin. <laughs> oh, I can already see the chat making Harry Potter jokes. You're a wizard, Mickey. Da, da, oh. da, 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 da. That's an odd collaboration, because... Uh, Harry Potter was um, was distributed by Warner Brothers, so it's like, so you have a movie from a company that's a competitor with Disney, and yet there's a crossover between this with Mickey Mouse. That's the most odd crossover when you think about it. Well, actually, like, Harry Potter was originally supposed to be produced by Disney, and they would have had Haley Joel Osment playing Harry. Yeah, was, no, no, be, like, no, 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 too. no, so much no. It's much more yeah. fitting to have, you know, actual English actors. Yeah, and it was supposed to be animated, too. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, thankfully, nope. that didn't... Yeah, animated. no, it, it's those things where, you know... Okay, look, I love Disney for the animated movies that they made, but no. No. 
I've already no. heard some, like, I've been catching wind of other stupid shit they made. Like, they, I've, I've heard a lot about A Wrinkle in Time and that it's not a very good movie. I haven't heard anything about it, honestly. That's probably a worse fate. <laughs>